Hey everybody and welcome to another Jamovi video. In this video, I want to go ahead and address a common question that I get uh, in comment sections on social media or whatever, and that is, should I use Jamovi or should I use Jasp? And both programs have a common ancestry, right? Our users, developers who wanted to make a space for free programs that use R, right? So one of the main differences, and you can go check out those videos on my channel, they're a couple of years old now, but uh, I compare the development of Jamovi and Jasp in like 2021 and 2022. So again, we're, we're coming up on almost two years since that last comparison video. And a question came up recently about which one should I do? Now, I, I usually say if you're a Bayesian stat statistician, you can go ahead and jump on Jasp and that's where you should stay because those developers are Bayesian statisticians uh, as much as the next Bayesian statistician. Whereas the folks at Jamovi tend to be more frequentists and spend their energy focusing on frequentist statistics. So in this video, I wanted to explore a Another option, right? If you're a Jamovi user and you're like, no, nah, I want to try to do some kind of Bayesian statistics. Well, there is a module for you if you don't want to jump into Jasp. Although I got to say, going from Jamovi to Jasp and Jasp to Jamovi, pretty seamless. There's not a lot of learning curve. Like a learning curve is pretty shallow and, and uh, low, right? It's not steep or anything like that. But if you wanted to just stick with your Jamovi environment, because you know how it works, you know how things save, you know all of that, and you're a fan of the whole, you know, the the, the module, the the, the side loading, or the you know the the module system here, then this is that video for you. So let's go ahead and um, grab the module that uh, I am talking about. So I'm gonna go to manage installed because I have it installed. But if you if I went to go to available, um, we are going to look for the JSQ module. The JSQ module, as you can see, JSQ Bayesian methods 1.2.0. The Jasp team, and then the folks at the Jamovi team, which is Damian Dropman, Ravi Selker, and Jonathan Love. Right, so the Jasp team uh, ostensibly created this Bayesian methods R package so that there could be some cross breeding going on, right? Some cross use going on, just in case you're a frequentist statistician or social scientist or other kind of scientist, and you want to broaden your your methods into Bayesian. You want to explore those Bayesians. So a suite of Bayesian statistical methods, including t tests, ANOVAs, linear models, and contingency tables. Right, so we've got t test Bayesian, t test Bayesian, ANOVAs, Bayesian regression and Bayesian like chi-square basically. These tests are a port of the Bayesian analyses from the JASP statistical software. And they, I, I love the, the the cooperation between these two dev teams because they have the JASPstats.org link right here. You can go right to that page. I think it's great. So let's go ahead and grab this. So we have, or I already have it installed, as you say, but if you want to add it to your, to your Jamovi, you want to click install there, but we gotta go find it on this. Now, again, um, it's not gonna be a separate module. It's not going to be a separate module like many of these others, like the SQ module or the PPDA module here, or even the Arcade uh, module that you can add as a separate package. What it does is it adds these JS, the JSQ module to the particular place. The T, uh, whatever the T test is, this is the Bayesian one. The ANOVA has Bayesian here. We've got regression. We've got the Bayesian regression and correlations. And then we have the Bayesian two proportion test contingency tables and log linear regression. I don't believe there is anything else. It's just these four base, right? So if you don't have JSQ installed, you'll only see these three. You'll only see up to non-parametric if you've got ANOVA, right? So you have to have JSQ installed to see these Bayesian. Now, I don't know how to do any Bayesian statistics. So I'm just going to open up this one and kind of give you a sense of what you're looking for, what you're looking at. So you obviously put your dependent variables over here, your grouping variables over here, set your hypothesis, you set what Bayes factor you want, either 10 or one. Um, the student, the t-test is still the same there. You either do students or man Whitney, unless you saw my other video where you do the Brunner Munzel test. Um, you can get your descriptives, right? And you can get your plots for your Bayesian plots, right? Prior and posterior Bayes factor robustness, sequential analysis, and a descriptive plot. Right? And then you can set up all of your priors uh, using the default, which is Cauchy, uh, Cauchy or Cauchy, um, where you set your prior here, 7.707, right? Or you can do informative and do Cauchy uh, normal or the T distribution. So normal distribution or a T distribution as the prior information. Now, that's everything that you can do. Again, uh, one Bayesian ANOVA, very similar situation here where you get your dependence, your fixed factors, you set your Bayes factor, um, you set your order, whether to do compared to null, compared to best, you set up your model, you set up your post hoc test, of course, nothing's going to show in here because I don't have any variable. I don't have a data set active. You can get your descriptive plots, which, as you can see, are basically line or bar graph plots here, very similar to the regular ANOVA plots, and then advanced options to get your Bayesian prior stuff set up. Um, and then same thing with Bayesian linear regression, very similar. It's going to be very similar to ANOVA, of course. Um, and then Bayesian, um, we can do, well, let's Bayesian test of independence or contingency tables, different kinds of sampling, hypothesis, Bayes factor here. All of these uh, various uh, analyses and these modules, these functions within these these Bayesian modules function very similar, if not the same, of course, it's the same underlying math uh, to the JASP Bayesian 
uh, functions and analyses that come standard in JASP, right? So again, Jamovi is made for frequentist statisticians, most of the tests, and of course, base Jamovi is just frequentist tests. But this is a way that you can add the Bayesian things from JASP. You know they're good because that dev team is Bayesian at its heart. You know that they're going to uh, be good analysis modules. So that's how you add Bayesian statistics to your JASP, or excuse me, your JASP Bayesian statistics to your Jamovi. Best of both worlds, if you want to think about it like that, of course, there are there are other differences between the two programs that I've gone over, not only in those two comparison videos, but in other videos comparing functionality. So if you have any comments, suggestions, feedback, or other uh, comments, please leave those down in the comment section down below. You said comment a bunch right there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.